what's up y'all welcome to my channel thank you for tuning back into my channel i'm going to be serving you this kind of rose gold with a hint of brown type of look that's what i'm going for today so my theme for this look is rose gold because lately i've been obsessed with rose gold yeah this whole look is drugstore so it's all affordable if you want to know if you want to know all of the products that i used all of them will be down in the description box below as they always are in all my makeup tutorials. So if you want to know all the specifics and all the deets, all the details, hit up the description box and I'll have everything in there. If you want to follow my beauty Instagram page, it's at Makeup by Jasmine, which is also in the description box. Just hit up the description box. Some stuff down there, some cool stuff down there. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Alright, so to start this tutorial off, I'm going to be starting with the e.l.f. Mad for Matte sh eyeshadow palette and I'm going to be using this peach color and I'm going to lightly just dust that into my crease and I'm going to build it up some more that way it, um, it'll build up. I'm sorry, it's midnight and I'm trying to get this recorded. <laughs> But now I'm going to go into this She Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to be using this brown eyeshadow here at the top and I'm going to be putting that on the outer V of the eye to add a little bit of depth and a little bit um, of more deeper color. And I'm sorry if I'm kind of stumbling over my words. Like I said, it's midnight and I'm doing this voiceover. And now I'm going to go back into that Matte for Matte Palette and I'm going to go back into that peach color and just add some more of it because I felt like I didn't have enough. And now I'm going to be wetting my brush with some makeup spray and then I'm going into this Morphe palette and using this sort of rose gold shimmer color. I've really been obsessed with the color rose gold lately. I think it's such a beautiful color. So I'm going to be applying this all over the lid. Using this LA Colors brow pencil slash eyeliner pencil in the color black. I'm gonna use that to line my waterline, and I've really been loving this. I have one in black and one in brown, and the one in brown is the one that I use to fill in my brows. So that's what I've been using lately to fill in my brows, and I love it. I got it from Dollar Tree for a dollar, so check it out. <laughs> so now I'm going back into this Morphe palette, and I'm gonna be using that kind of sandy color that dusty sandy color and I'm gonna be putting that on the waterline as well right under that eyeliner just to kind of smoke it out a little bit then I'm gonna be using this elf expert liquid liner in the color black I believe <laughs> and then I'm just going to line my lash line I'm not gonna do a wing I know I always do wings but no wing today, I'm just doing this that way it'll make my lashes look a little bit fuller. And now I'm going to be using this eyelash curler, eyelash curler, Jesus, eyelash curler from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm just going to use this to curl my lashes. And then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Recently been using this and I love it. It gives a lot of definition to the lashes, so I'm going to be going in and applying this to my lashes. Now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline New York Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser as my primer just to minimize these pores and get my skin ready before this foundation. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Foundation in the color 355 or Coconut. And I'm just going to use this sponge to help apply it to my skin. this CoverGirl Queen Collection pressed powder right here in the color there we go in the color medium deep and I'm going to be using this to set my foundation now I'm going to be going 
going in with this elf bronzer that's kind of crushed up and i've hit pan so i need to get a new one but this is in the color deep and so i'm gonna apply this on my face and i don't contour but i've been bronzing a lot lately so i use this to help bring a lot of color and warmness and definition back into my face and then i'm gonna go in with this wet n wild photo focus concealer in the color dark cocoa and I'm going to use this to highlight my face. This isn't too much brighter than my face. Um, it's pretty close to my skin tone almost. It's maybe like a shade or two lighter. So I wanted to keep it kind of natural with the highlight today. And then I'm going to go in with this NYX Set It and Don't Fret It uh, Matte Finishing Powder in the color Medium Dark. There we go. In the color Medium Dark. And then I'm going to kind of cut out my bronzer and like define it a little bit more and then I'm gonna use that same powder nope not yet Jasmine <laughs> then I'm gonna use a sponge to blend out the concealer and then I'm gonna use this brush to apply a little bit of that powder that way it doesn't crease and it'll be nice and set I'm sorry I hope I'm making sense I'm I'm trying to make sense but then I'm gonna go back into that pressed powder and I'm gonna use that to get rid of that extra powder that way it doesn't look too dusty and then I'm gonna also use this max fix plus and spray it on my face so I also don't look too dusty you don't want to look dusty because that's just not cute you don't want to look dusty and then I'm gonna go in with this makeup revolution highlighter and I've been loving this this highlight is intense you'll see here in a second but this is in the color liquid bronze gold and it's very intense as you can see so a little bit goes a long way so I had to add a little bit and blend it out and then add some more until I got what I wanted but just be very careful with this because this is some very powerful highlighter so yeah and they have it in six colors I believe six different colors so definitely check it out it's drugstore so it's definitely affordable and then I'm gonna go in with this shine control lasting makeup mist in the coat no not in the color i think this is from rude cosmetics i've never heard of it i got this at my beauty supply and i'm gonna just spray it that way my makeup will last and you know to control this oil because i have oily skin then i'm gonna use this eos lip balm in the flavor coconut just to moisturize my lips because i'm doing something a little bit different with my lips today something that i don't usually do and now i'm gonna be going in with this ultra matte lipstick from Colourpop Cosmetics and this is in the color Bad Habit and instead of just coating my entire lips I'm just dabbing a little bit on my lips and blending it out a little bit and just blending it out that way I get like a nice subtle tint but yeah that's it for this makeup tutorial thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next one bye Right, be gone psycho, the mama bad like Michael Can't really trust nobody with all this jewelry on you My roof look like a no-show, got diamonds by the bolo Don't act like you my friend when I'm rolling through my hands You stuck in the friend zone, I turn like four, five to fifth Ay, hundred bands inside my shorts, a chino, this shit